YouTube. How are you this morning? I'm pretty good. Uh, I'm in Dallas at the truck lot, and it is about 12 o'clock, almost. And getting ready to get out of here. I got my handsome blushing student sitting over there. He seems like a nice guy. Uh, good old young country boy from uh, from uh, the big city of Shreveport. Um, got here this morning. Went over preach up with the truck. Went over some of the ground rules for things that are going to be going on. He knows that he gets to sleep in that seat until he's ready to drive. As he grins at me. Um, but uh, we're on our way to Springdale, Arkansas. Got to deliver in the morning, so we're only going to go as far as the Fort Smith yard, simply because there's nowhere to park in Springdale. That town blows. So, real quick morning update, and uh, we will chat again later. See ya. Hey YouTube, how are you doing? Um, that morning update was really kind of short, and I didn't get a chance to really say anything about uh, the end of the last week uh, for, since the last video. Kind of wanted to touch base on it boy that light's horrible uh the uh after i loaded i only made it as far as uh flying j well, about just a few miles up the road and uh i uh, parked a truck uh, had a, got a preferred parking spot and uh went and showered went, went inside took a shower and then went into denny's and got a steak dinner and then uh, i was in bed by 8 30. <laughs> I was dead, dead exhausted, as y'all know already. Um, uh, the next morning, I uh, got up and uh, drove on in, up into Dallas and parked the truck. I got home around noon because I had left about five, six o'clock in the morning. It took my time getting back. Uh, once I got home, uh, I did a few things. On the way up, though, I stopped in Ennis and washed the truck, so it was nice and pretty. But once uh, I parked the truck and started heading to the house in my pickup it started to rain and then uh that after it, it didn't rain long but it rained long enough i know it, it ended up leaving water spots on the truck from there uh i kind of did a bunch of stuff around town uh before i went home I, I went ahead and did my grocery shopping for this week and next week in the truck picked up a few things that i needed for the student including getting the the curtain material that i needed to, for, to hang the the privacy curtain for my students um, when I was gonna do a loop and hook on the the um, curtain rod mounts I found that someone had installed hooks already up there I guess for clothing or something I ended up pulling those out and using the existing mounting space uh, for the curtain rod mounts themselves so it saved me from trying to having to hook up some kind of contrivance using uh, alligator clips and things like that to keep the thing up there um, then uh, once I got home in the evening I really didn't do anything else uh, me and the family we ate and I hung around watched television um, watched some shows on Discovery that I had not had a chance to see Saturday all day I live in a three bedroom house and my oldest son moved out recently and my youngest son uh, was is, of course is still with us what we ended up doing is moving him out of his room which is the smallest of the three bedrooms and into the middle-sized bedroom, which was my oldest son's, we spent the whole week cleaning out all the stuff that was uh, left over from him when he was in there, cleaning the clean, vacuuming, cleaning the carpets real good, and then cleaning the walls and hanging new curtains and things like that, and then moved my son into there. We're going to turn the smallest bedroom into a storage room uh, in preparation for our move in a few years up to Alaska, uh, which is still our game plan, um, and then. Uh, I'm not sure why it keeps doing that. There we go. Sorry about that. Um, we spent all day Saturday doing that. Uh, and uh, we, of course, did a few other things too. Um, we actually took everything that I had, that I had, took it down to the truck and went ahead and got it here, got it in the truck instead of trying to drag it over on Sunday morning. And then early Saturday afternoon, uh, I'd say around one or two, uh, my student called me and said that his mom was going to go ahead and drive him to Dallas uh, on Saturday instead of waiting till Sunday to come, Sunday morning to come in. So I ended up going down and uh, meeting him and checking him into the hotel and getting him logged into the truck and all that stuff uh, so he could be on site and then uh, his mom went home. Um, 
like I said earlier, he, I, I talked to him for a little while. He seems like a really nice guy. Um, he's a young kid. He's about 24, 25. Um, it's his first trucking job. He's uh, done a lot of hands-on kind of things. And uh, he looks like he's got a good head on his shoulders. He seems to be grasping stuff very well. I think he'll do very well. His training, uh, we talked about that some, and I'll talk about more about that later, uh, what he went through for driving school and things like that. He did really, really well, according to reports, in um, – and hands-on and orientation so I think he'll be a good asset to the company you know, providing he likes to work and work hard we will have to see how it goes so that's it for now we will talk later and uh, once uh, the day is over take it easy good evening YouTube how are you this evening we are pretty good uh, it is about 6.20 Central Time, and we are on the Fort Smith Yard in Fort Smith, Arkansas, obviously. Um, pretty good drive coming down. Um, I think my student was a little bit bored at times because he really wasn't doing anything, but he's asking lots of good questions. We got a lot of stuff covered for the first day. Um, things are going to be moving right along. I think he'll probably start driving on Tuesday. Just don't know yet. We'll have to see how it goes. We have to be in Springdale, Arkansas tomorrow morning at uh, 7 a.m. to unload this. We will be bugging out of here around 5, 5.15, so we get there in plenty of time because we're roughly 75 miles away. I was hoping to maybe go on to, go to Springdale, but I was looking at Trucker's Path earlier, and there's just no parking anywhere, and I don't want to take the risk of having to circle back someplace else and add extra miles to it. Pretty much what is a trip that's already blown the outer route as it is. Um, it was only 517 miles from Houston to Springdale, but of course I took the truck home. And going to Dallas added 45 miles to it, so it's already kind of busted up already. Um, so far, uh, we've cut as far as the stu uh, student goes, we've covered uh, basic procedures. He's, you know, been taught here. Uh, what's going on here at Fort Smith. He's asked a lot of great questions. He seems to be a good young man with a good head on his shoulders. Um, learned a little bit about his past. He uh, put himself through driving school. I don't remember what name of the company he went through, but apparently it was a super long, it was like 20 weeks, four days a week. Wow, that's that's insane. It cost him like 10 grand too. I hope he had a student loan for that <laughs> or the cash, I don't know. Um, but, uh, I think he's going to do well so far. He's got all the right questions and he's got the right attitude. So, uh, some of these initial updates while he's on board will be short and uh, until we get into a rhythm of things. So, until tomorrow when we deliver, y'all keep the shiny side up. 73s. We'll be seeing you. Bye.